Hi everyone, it's Simon Keenan here at weatherweb.net and it is Thursday the 1st of August and uh, thanks again for watching. Don't forget we're kept free of charge by the adverts you see around the screen here. It's when you come back and use the site and use the adverts, it's that that keeps us free of charge so thanks for doing that. Now, um, still causing a bit of a problem next week. We've got a slack pressure flow over us uh, during the course of next week. And um, that presents its own problems in deciding where small areas of low pressure are going to be. Um, we do get a little bit of help from the 7 to 10 day means of the 500 millibar flow. This runs from next Thursday through to Sunday the 11th of August. And we've got the uh, ECMWF on the left here. We've got the GFS on the right. And... Um, Notice that the ECMWF builds heights out in the Atlantic above normal and brings this jet stream into the British Isles. Um, <clears throat> GFS, again, builds the heights a little bit further north and also has this jet. But also notice that trough that's uh, to the east there. The, the ECMWF has that whole feature a little bit further east. However, what they're all pointing to is that eventually the uh, trough clears away to the east and the westerlies do break through. So... That trough's got to move through during the course of the end of this week and into next weekend. And I think as it does so, there is the potential for a fairly deep area of low pressure to develop back end of this week into next weekend. And that could bring quite an unsettled end to the week. And I actually think that the week itself probably is going to be on a sliding scale. And you can see that from the chart here, from the GFS chart for London. Look, here's the hot temperatures that we're going to be seeing across the country during the course of today and tomorrow. Although, yes, I know it's raining up in Scotland and across Ireland. Um, but then a fall off in temperatures, look, and this steady decline in temperatures as we head into the middle of August. And also notice here, look, relatively dry conditions at first, but then turning more unsettled and I think that's really the pattern of things even if you have got the rain in Scotland and across Ireland it does get better it does turn more showery during the course of this afternoon and into tomorrow but then you do see this slow slippage into um, I think more unsettled conditions although not wet I think mixed is probably the best way to describe it and the CFS is picking up on that idea too. This is week one, look, got this trough here to the east of the UK. And then into week two, the trough is still there, look, in the heights. So low the normal heights, particularly north and west. High the normal out towards the east. And I think what this is signifying during next week is will be unsettled. There will be outbreaks of rain around, particularly Scotland and northern parts of Ireland. But I do think that at times we could just return into warmer conditions across the south and the southeast. Although generally I think what we're going to find is this breakthrough coming in at the end of next week, turning things more unsettled. Although before that we could get some thundery outbreaks of rain. The week three from the CFS again has that trough feature look out towards the west there. And I think that again in hinting at uh, mixed conditions. I think most rain for Scotland and northern and western parts of Ireland. Drier towards the south and the east but not completely so. And then into week four... Um, what it has on there, look, is building heights. Still got the trough out towards the east, but the flow coming back round more into a south or southeasterly. High pressure probably building out towards the east. So I think most uh, east, the eastern half of the UK probably dry and becoming very warm again. But you just can't rule out the risk of some thundery rain at times for Western Ireland and Western Scotland. And really could be quite a wet spell of weather across the western parts of Ireland. So this is taking us into week four, which is from the 22nd to the 28th onwards. So we do see this decline into the middle of the, of the month or mixed conditions to around the 12th or the 13th. And then I think a gradual improvement taking place and probably a finer spell of weather coming through from around the 15th onwards and that was what was picked up by the Korean model um, that was suggesting that dry weather would be a feature towards the uh, middle and the second half of August but let's just take a look at the next few days very quickly and this is the chart for today Thursday got a warm front sweeping northwards got some rain still through Scotland and Ireland most places there you can see dried air warm as well on that southerly wind now overnight we get the cold front that moves its way eastwards. This is the chart for Friday. There's that cold front gone east. Takes a few showers with it. I think more persistent showers affecting western Scotland, Ireland and western, and western parts of Wales tomorrow. One or two of them heavy. Inland just scattered showers here and there. A cooler day but still up to 26 in the south. I think at 20 in the north. On to Saturday, breezy day, low pressure close to uh, Western Scotland. That brings some rain there and also for the far north of England. Showers affecting Western parts of Scotland, Western England, Western Wales. Drier for central and eastern areas and fairly breezy as well. 
On to Sunday, low pressure sweeping its way northwards. Um, a bit of difficulty on this area of rain. There will be rain moving in, I think, and uh, difficult to tell where, but I think Ireland, Wales, South West England, Northern England particularly at risk, but it could be anywhere from here to here that sees the outbreaks of rain on Sunday, so a big question mark on Sunday. On to Monday, the threat of some heavier rain coming through during the latter part of Sunday into Monday as this front moves east. Again, bit of a question mark over uh, exactly where the front is and where the heavier the rain is, but the potential for some thundery rain. I think showery are brighter conditions coming in from the west. And then for Tuesday, one or two showers across southern areas and also for western Scotland and western Ireland, but most places dry with sunny spells and good temperatures as well as light winds. So once again, thanks for watching weatherweb.net and whatever you're doing, keep the sun shining and bye for now.